Consider two infinitely long thin cylindrical tubes of circular cross section as shown in the figure. If D1 and D2 are diameters of the inner and outer tubes respectively, then the view factor F22 is given by. The figure is given here and options are option A D2 by D1 minus 1, option B 0, option C D1 by D2, option D 1 minus D1 by D2. In figure we can see this is the first tube and this is the second tube and the center of the two tubes is same. So these are concentric tubes. Now the solution is radiation heat transfer between surfaces depends on the orientation of the surfaces relative to each other as well as their radiation properties and temperature. For example, covering a candle with hand. If we try to cover it closely, the rate of heat exchange will be more. So, to account for the effects of orientation on radiation heat transfer between two surfaces, the new parameter called view factor is defined. It is a purely geometric quality and it is independent of surface properties and temperature and it is also called shape factor or configuration factor or angle factor. It is based on assumptions that the surfaces are diffuse emitters and diffuse reflectors. Now let us see some example for view factors. Say a plane surface is there and it is 1 and the radiation is taking place from the surface. Then the radiation from surface 1 to surface 1 is shown by F11 or F121 that is radiation from first surface to first surface. In this figure we can see the radiation that emits from surface 1 is completely will not fall on surface 1. So F11 is equal to 0. If you take a convex surface that is let us say this is surface 2 and the radiation is taking place from the surface 2 here then view factor F22 is equal to 0. Since the radiation emitting from the surface 2 is not falling on surface 2. Now let us see a concave surface that is surface 3. Now radiation is taking place from the inner surface and the radiation emitting out is falling on the surface 3. So the view factor F33 is not equal to 0. Now suppose if n number of surfaces are present then the number of view factors is equal to n square. For example if two surfaces are present that is 1 and 2 then the number of view factors is equal to n square that is equal to 2 square 4. The view factors are f11, f12, f21, f22. Now let us see some rules in finding view factors. The different rules are 1 summation rule, number 2 reciprocity rule. Now take the above example. The summation rule says summation of the view factors of one surface with respect to all other surfaces is always is equal to 1. That is in the above example the summation of view factors of first surface with respect to first surface and second surface is always equal to 1. That is F11 plus F12 is equal to 1. Similarly the sum of view factor of second surface with respect to itself and other surface that is first surface is equal to 1. That is F21 plus F22 is equal to 1. Now the second rule is reciprocity rule. Reciprocity rule says that A1 F12 is equal to A2 F21. Now let us come to our problem. In the problem tube 1 tube 2 are concentric and we can see F11 is equal to 0. Since the radiation emitting from the first surface cannot fall on first surface itself. So, substitute this value in the summation rule. That is, 
f11 plus f12 equal to 1 that is f12 equal to 1 and also f21 plus f22 is equal to 1 so f22 is equal to 1 minus f21 but according to reciprocity rule a1 f12 is equal to a2 f21 that is a1 into 1 equal to a2 into f21 so f21 is equal to a1 by a2 now substitute this f21 value in the above equation that is f22 is equal to 1 minus f21 which is equal to 1 minus a1 by a2 since these are infinite concentric tubes area is directly proportional to d so a1 by a2 is equal to d1 by d2 so f22 is equal to 1 minus d1 by d2 so the correct option is option d 1 minus d1 by d2